Now only on King 5, a rash of Hanford workers have needed medical attention over the last week after ingesting unknown toxic fumes. King 5 investigator Susanna Frame joins us. She broke the story this afternoon and has now the latest. Susanna. Jean and Lori, in the last week, get this, 11 Hanford workers, 11 people have wound up in the hospital or at the on-site medical facility there at Hanford after breathing in harmful chemicals. This is an unusually high number of employees, of course, getting sick from vapors at Hanford in just one week's time. Two employees breathed in fumes that tasted like copper a week ago. And today, both of them are still sick with symptoms such as nosebleeds, chest pains, difficulty breathing, headaches, and even coughing up blood. Then today, one week later, nine more workers ingested fumes and needed medical treatment. While it's unclear exactly what the workers inhaled, we do know that nuclear waste stored in underground tanks at the Hanford site generate toxic vapors, and these fumes are making their way, have made their way through filters that are supposed to protect workers there. And Hanford has a duty to protect the workers at this site. They are doing an important cleanup, and yet their lives and health are being sacrificed, uh, you know, for money because they don't. The companies aren't spending the money to protect them. We did talk to several workers at Hanford today that were very upset because they say there's not any monitoring systems, no um, pieces of equipment on the ground in those what they call tank farm areas to be able to detect chemical vapors. But we did get a statement uh, late this evening. Or earlier this evening from the company. Um, this is a statement from the government contractor in charge of all the underground tanks. All 11 employees work for them. Uh, this company said they do have a program to monitor chemical vapors and that they've made improvements in recent years to reduce those exposures. And we're going to have more on this tonight on King 5 News at 11 o'clock. All right, Susanna, thanks. We'll see you.